Hey guys, it's time to take a look at the Android M developer preview on the Google um, Nexus 5. Uh, I have also uh, also installed this um, developer preview on uh, on the other Nexus devices that I have. I will be uploading the video soon. So, you can see that from, from the looks, it looks the same as the Lollipop, you know, the materialistic device, but, but there are there are some cool changing in, in this Android M developer preview. Um, um, or you can say just Android M. Um, so of course we don't know the, what M stands for, maybe Marshmallow or anything like that. Uh, we'll, ca we'll see this um, after a couple of months, you know, when we probably going to see the official uh, update coming on the Nexus devices. So, uh, so Google has said that we will see two developer previews. So this is the developer preview number one. Um, so this is the uh, home screen, you can see the same functionality, um, just scroll and just hold down the screen, same these three options, widget, wallpaper and settings, um, also the same three navigation buttons. Um, let's dive into the app drawer. Now the horizontal scroll is not there because they have changed it to the vertical. Now you have to scroll like this and you also have this search bar where you can search any application, let's say camera and here it is the camera so it's basically a lot more easier now to you know find your your application that you use a lot um, you know you don't have to just scroll here and there so vertical scrolling is now what we have here with the Android M and and this is how the uh, the notification panel looks like it's the same as the as the lollipop uh, as the 5.1.1 lollipop you can see the arrows on the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi uh, but we have this new mode called as do not disturb like if I turn it on um, you can see it is total silence like no alarms no mess no nothing so you can also have it on alarms only so you can set it that is really nice that's a complete silence mode for your device like you can turn it on in the night when you want to sleep or whatever so um, let's just go into the settings now this is how the the settings looks like it, it looks the same the same animation and everything like that um, about phone and you can see model number Nexus 5 Android M um, we don't have the Easter egg at the moment we just get this um, this emoticon but there is no um, Easter egg there and if I tap on the build one more couple of times it will unlock the developer options now in developer option we have here a new hidden feature or hidden thing that you whatever you want to call it theme now you can enable dark theme and you can see now my Nexus 5 has dark settings which is really cool and then also we have the system UI tuner you can turn it on also um, let's see so you can turn it on and then also we have some normal same Android options there you can see wireless display certification okay the animation options if you want to make your device a little bit more faster um, so um, that theme option is really nice you can see now we have a darker theme um, looks really awesome uh, then if I go, you can see that my Nexus 5 is having some low battery, so I can also turn on the battery saver mode, which is, which is of course the same, or I can just turn it off from from the main, uh, from this notification center. So um, let's go into the apps, uh, which is again a little bit more neat here. Uh, like you can see your application without system applications. Like uh, let's see if I turn it on turn the system application you can see now we have some some internal application like it, it is difficult to find the application that we want to see with all these these um, these system applications so you just have to um, hide them so that you can easily find the application that you want to find um, then also we have the um, the advanced option where you can see this default apps uh, which is really nice you can set some browser app like if you if you don't want to use the Google Chrome you can download UC browser and set it as a default app from here uh, this is already available on the lollipop but these type of settings are are hidden so I mean there on, on the past builds of Android we haven't seen like the proper way like we have seen on the uh, on the Android M here so you can see you can have any browser app you can also have any phone dialer app you can also have a default SMS app, so that is really nice. 
Then, um, then we can see here the one of the thing that I like, the best thing that I I've seen here, is it's uh, it's RAM management or memory management. You can see that it will going to show you what apps are taking the average memory and what apps which are taking the maximum memory. You can see Google app is taking the maximum memory here. You can refresh it. You can go into any app and you can also force stop it. Um, and then you can also see some more stuff there. You can also go into the more settings. Um, so this Android M overall developer preview is, is, is a developer preview. Do keep that in mind. It's not that stable that you can use it for every day. You know, the battery life and all that stuff will be will be um, not that good. So I probably uh, will say that you should stay on the Lollipop. And I'll be making a video for, for the downgrade video, how to downgrade from Android M to the Android Lollipop. I'll be making it very soon, in a couple hours. So uh, let's just finally check out the camera. Uh, oh, you can see me. And and the thing is, in the front-facing camera is basically the the focus. Now you can focus in front-facing camera, which is again really nice. And then also, if I switch to the back camera, I mean the overall uh, UI uh, is same. Camera UI is same as before, but the focus is now a little bit more sexy. You can see that that pop-up type focus and it has improved focus wise it has improved it focuses really really fast and and i, and I can't wait to, wait to install um you know this uh the, the final version whatever the whenever they are we're going to release the final version so yeah thank you so much for taking out this video as always give this video a thumbs up and if you want to know something that i've missed or or is something that you want to know let me know in the comments down below and yeah one last thing that why uh, that i want want you to know is is the google now which I basically missed so I want to show you that that this build doesn't come with this with this card card Google now options so you can see that are available on this release probably going to see in the next one but uh, but yeah uh, you will definitely going to see some great stuff and 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 there's also a dedicated Google now button or or settings in the main settings I could show you here and here you can um, have your ads if you want to see some ads you can turn it on or turn it off uh, then some more options search and now you can add your location you can also have your security some security option there so yeah this is you know Google now is also one of the one of the best um, updates with this Android M so yeah thank you so much for taking out this video as always give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next one peace out